TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. Warning screen, just in case. You never know. Don't forget, we also got Patreon.com. That's where you can catch any of uh, things that we can't post on YouTube, like series that are still being televised, those type of reactions, your favorite series ever, um, your favorite UK movies, and Premier League. Don't forget, we also got Twitch.com. That's where you can catch a live stream if we happen to go live. This is Police Interceptors. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. It's bonfire night. And for someone, the fireworks have already begun. Police emergency, what's the emergency? Hi, there's a guy and he's just run over to me, so can you call the police please, because somebody's robbed him in his car. Where is this? Uh, Nottingham Centre. Two lads have tried to rob him at knife point. They've got his phone, he's, he's trying to get in his car, but they've just run up and mugged him. I'm going to go and check on him, because I'm a bit worried about him. He's shaking like a leaf. A golf TDI has been carjacked at... Thing, man, any of them celebrations with fireworks is gonna go, it's going down. Knife point. It's rape on robbery. On just gone up to the corner like and everything robbed at knife point. Two males, aged eighteen, one in a black tracksuit, the other in a dark blue. Interceptors Dan Machin and James Carrington are first to respond. Romeo three three, we're going that way. observations out for the following vehicle which is involved in this robbery the victim's car which has been stolen so by for VRM. the stolen golf's been spotted heading out of town come on that's be a good one dan hits the gas shot if you see mate <sighs> with the top speed of over 300 miles per hour dan's dream car the bugatti chiron will be wasted on the streets of nottingham yeah keep on dreaming bud <laughs> His X5's got more than enough grunt to hunt down a stolen hatchback. Taser authority on the occupants here, yeah, because knife point robbery. If they've timed it right, the golf should be heading their way. Mate, it's just gone past us. Bingo. In an effort to dazzle the cops, he's flashed them full beam. Stand by, stand by, contact, contact with the subject vehicle. Having pulled a Yui, Dan's on the golf in no time. It looks like this lad's not got the stomach for a car chase. Stand by, vehicle manoeuvring. But he is up to something. Are you getting out? The passengers legged it. No, he's gone left, 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 outbound. But the driver... Subject vehicle is left, 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 cop. Decides to try his luck after all. They're always gonna follow the driver though, so I guess that's a very thought out split up. Stand by vehicles, failing to stop, temporary loss, right, 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 Swains Avenue. Having recently acquired the golf, the lad fancies seeing what it can do. We are Swains Avenue, generally towards Oakdale Road, stand by for direction. But he's no Lewis Hamilton. Cross mate. Stand by vehicle, suit lost control, stand by, stand by, vehicle has crashed but is continuing. We are Watson Avenue. Stand by, stand by. Wrong side of the road, Snenton Dale, vehicle has damage. We are Snenton Dale towards the city. Speed 3-0. Having mounted several curbs, he's picked up some battle scars. Vehicle has probably got at least two flat tires, stand by. On rims, yes, offside on rims. Near side and offside is on rims, it's contacted member of the public. Colliding with this unsuspect. It's in driver. It's a textbook display of senseless driving. Speed is 5-0, Snenton out towards the city. 
racing. I'm not going to lie. If I was a criminal, getting away is way more important than anything else in a criminal's mind. <clears throat> towards the busy city centre increases the, the chance of another collision. If this continuing wrong side of the carriageway, medium risk, back to the correct side of the carriageway. The lad swerves the rush hour traffic and ducks down a quiet side street. We're left left, subject is losing control of the vehicle. Standby vehicle braking heavily for. With backup units now behind them, Dan just needs to pick his moment. Standby vehicle is losing control up to medium risk. Here we go. Game over. You out? He could have almost stopped, low key. Oh my god! Oh please! Ask behind your back! Do it now! Do it now! Ask behind your back! You can say goodbye to them Air Force Ones, buddy. They don't give a damn. They scar in them joints. <clears throat> relax! Relax! The lad could be armed, so the cops aren't taking any chances. Right, have you got any weapons on you, mate? Got any weapons on you? Mate, okay, just say no, okay? You're under arrest on suspicion of a knife point robbery of that vehicle, failing to stop for police and dangerous driving. Do you understand? Do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence. Do not mention. Yeah, you're going to jail. That's the realization of jail time, buddy. Ten years minimum, probably. When questioned, something which you later on in court. The reality of the situation finally seems to hit home. Mate, driving like that kills people. She needs to calm down, don't you? He has had a search for weapons. I'm not going to push you in. Just take a seat under your own steam. Right. You understand why you understand why you've been nicked, don't you? It's... Mate, calm down. No, please. I'm trying to re if you really. Kian, Kian, me... listen to me. It's all over, yeah. mate. You can chill. He's high. While James has his hands full with the suspect, Dan's found some chilling evidence. So within the vehicle is a um, bread knife used in the offence, I believe. <laughs> Funny enough, mate. That. Is exactly as one of the weapons described, isn't it? Weren't it a cutting knife and a bread knife? Yeah. So the other lad will have the second one. Before the lad's taken to the nick. You've done one of these before, Kian? Mm. Okay, mate. James needs to breathalyze him. Good man, good man, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's spot on, mate. We'll see how we go. I ain't done that much. Well, you say that. Uh, it's a red light, mate, and it's 80, 80. That is three nearly three times over the drink drive limit. It's another one for the rap sheet, and Dan's got little sympathy. It's a significant offence. It's a, uh, a knife point robbery. Um, I think the victim's quite shaken up. He's been jabbed with the knife physically and has stolen his car. A show-stopping climax to the most explosive night of the year. It's uh, fitting. It's um, going out of the bank. <laughs> the lad was charged with robbery, possession of a bladed article and dangerous driving. At Crown Court, he pleaded guilty to all counts and was sentenced to three years behind bars. That's not too bad. Let's crack a few eggs to make an omelette. Yeah. Still uh -uh. Looks peaceful. The interceptors police Nottinghamshire's streets 24-7, 365 days a year. Firearms officers Katie Eustace and James Carrington are working the early shift in the city centre. So we work different shifts, so we do two day shifts, two after. Hi, right, Katie. She's a hard worker. The shifts and two night shifts, which is quite nice because you get the variety of days, afters, and nights. I suppose traditionally your early turns sometimes aren't as busy. No, they can be a bit quiet. Attention. They spoke too soon. Attention. Yeah, travelling. A fellow officer has pushed their panic button. On our radios, there's a small orange button, which is the emergency activation button. So if you're struggling with somebody, press the orange button and it'll open your mic to the control room and they can hear what's happening. If money were no object, Katie would snap up a beachside house in California. Right now, that must seem like a very long way away. There's been a, uh, an incident earlier at the bank. Some officers have gone to deal with it and the emergency button's been activated, so they're asking for more officers. I believe they've been struggling with a mail. Is that a group of people on this pavement now on the other side? Yeah. 
three through Estate Six. Arriving on scene, a scrum of police officers and members of the public appear to be wrestling with a male. Stop resisting! With help from a pair of have a go street cleaners, the man is already in cuffs and leg restraints. Nice one, mate, thank you. Turns out he's a star of the morning briefing. Is it Troy? We have yeah. a van. Oh, it's your mum's. That's not very nice, is it? Your shoe, we'll get your shoes, Troy. This fella does. They're dragging the shoes off, buddy. <clears throat> doesn't appear to like police officers. Yo, turn your camera off, bro, before I spit on you. And he's not that keen on our cameraman. He wears a spit mask. Spit mask. Either. Bro, can you turn your camera? Well, don't make threats, bro, please, mate. Oi, I don't want you making point threats. Point it away from me. Point it away. Bro, point. Don't you spit? Yeah. I'm not going to. Don't spit, Troy. A whiff of his breath suggests he's had a boozy breakfast. What you had to drink, Troy? My name ain't Troy, anyway. Is it not? No. Nope. You got any drinks or weapons on you, Troy? Yeah, it is. Five to ten. I know. What is Buddy having a heart attack? Why is he grimacing? Friday morning. So. You're also in the UK. So saying it's five to ten in the morning. This is the UK. It is 5 to 10 on a Friday morning. On a Friday morning. It's Friday. It's valid. So, that's an early. I think he's had a bit to drink. At least a bit to drink. Probably some drugs as well. Katie has given the man's details to control. It's whiskey might times four, Jim. He's already wanted for four previous offences, including theft, robbery and assault. I think what's happened, these officers have been dealing with something else in the bank. They've come outside, he's kicked off and tried to chuck himself under a car. Ah, man, my chest is hurting. Why? Why? Ooh. What's happened to it? What's wrong with your chest then, Troy? There's been a development. He's complaining of chest pains. Troy, if you don't turn... Them class A's, boy. Them class A's plus this stress, plus this... Plus this uh, high intensity of fighting that you was doing you might be having a little heart attack Troy what's wrong with you I can't help you can I do you need an ambulance Troy what's up with you mate Troy have you taken any drugs or out any medication the interceptors are trained in first aid and know how to spot the signs of a serious medical condition Troy if you don't tell us what's up with you mate I can't help you they've also seen every trick in the book and this piece of acting deserves an award. Yeah, he's all right. He's been caught. That's what's up with him. Exactly. Troy, do you want your shoes on, mate? The van has arrived to take the man away. Here it is. He tried. You shuffle back, good man. <laughs> Katie and James finally get a moment to catch their breath. We just saw a group of people, but you could see they were in the roads. I think a few members of the public were helping them to detain him, so he's clearly kicking off. Let's just get out of your car and get to him and help out is number one priority. Someone like that's a struggle for just a couple of cops to sort out, so hence the emergency button, hence we all turn up. Katie is four foot 11, 100 pounds. I'm not gonna lie, to pan to the camera to say, when you pan to the camera and say, get out and help, I like Katie. She is a hard worker, but that wasn't her forte right there. Safety numbers. The man's heading to hospital, but something's wrong. The crew have triggered another alarm. Is that the back? He's just got his cuffs around the front and on his phone. The prisoner has managed to bring his handcuffed arms up over his head, release his... He didn't put a piece of gum in his mouth. ...his leg bindings, and he's also pulled out his mobile phone. Hand your phone over. I won't. Huh? I'm in my phone. Yeah, I won't. Do you want some gloves, John? Yeah, please. You're under arrest. You're not using your phone, right? You can't use your okay. phone, Troy. Well, pass it. It seems Nottingham's Harry Houdini has one last trick up his sleeve. What are you chewing, Troy? Hmm? What are you eating? 
Brilliant. <laughs> Troy, gee, why would you not just say gum or something? Like you just defeating the purpose. You just admitted to it. I got drugs. What you swallowing? <laughs> Mate, that changes what we do with you, doesn't it? We've got to look after as well as lock you up, haven't we, mate? So if you're swallowing drugs, we need to know. What drugs? I swear to God, I should spit in your face. What a pleasant chap. A brief trip to A&E revealed that the man was indeed suffering from an acute case of time wasting. In court, he pleaded guilty to two counts of assaulting an emergency worker and received four months imprisonment suspended for two years. All of the charges were dropped. He's a slippery individual. Well, you can't count for that, can you? If someone's no. that flexible, they can do that, then what? It is what it is, man. At this point, like I don't even have nothing to say about the sentencing or the guidelines that the UK goes by. I've just accepted it. I wish they were like that in America, but like they, America would be running rapid if these were the same guidelines that we had. What can you do? Bro was in the back, like... How did you even do that? My shoulder, not, that hurt doing that. <laughs> The Interceptor's battle with drink drivers is relentless. Last year, over 1,600 people were killed or seriously injured in accidents involving drivers over the alcohol limit. Drink drivers, they are dingbats. I'll put my name to that. They put their own life at risk, the people in the cars at risk, and all the road users at risk. For what? Because they can't be bothered to walk or pay for a taxi. We've had to knock on people's doors and explain oh, to them that the Lisa. family members have died. Oh no, I was just tweaking. Okay, we got Katie and Lisa in one episode. That's tough. What a marvelous day. Because if somebody's decided to drink and drive, and it's just not acceptable. Lack of respect. People just are out for themselves and not think of the consequences of hitting the family in the car really and killing audacious. them. The audacity of a drunk driver is crazy. <laughs> it's wild. In the north of the county, it's raining cats and dogs. Jen Else is on patrol with police dog Quantum. Jen? Jen's here too? Oh, raves are bad. Just be mindful, Jen, when you come down in here, there is a lot of standing water. Just a heads up, I've started translating my videos into like 20 different languages. So if you hit the closed caption button and settings, you can see that there it's in different languages. The closed caption is. I just want to, you know, give people the opportunity. Temple. Tonight, she's at the wheel of the versatile Skoda VRS. But Jen's dream ride is the Aston Martin DB9. The automotive aristocrat will be great in a pursuit, but the Skoda has more room for quantum. And when conditions are as wet as this, it's best to slow right down. I just a bit quick. But someone is in a hurry. Mm. Stupid. Code two, please, on Cargate Road. Mm -hmm. Quite traffic. The van is registered to an electrical company, but it's a bit late to be fitting a dimmer switch. It's half twelve, it's kicking out time, isn't it? Um, he was going quite quick, which is why I've looked at him in the first place. We're now going around in circles. Can I stop him? If the driver is going to do a runner, Jen wants to be prepared. Quants? Wiki wiki, want him? That'd be the worst decision you make, buddy. Vehicle stop, Priory Avenue. Where are you going? I just dropped him off. Where at? Dropped here. him off? Yeah, here. What's it about? You been drinking? 
I've had a couple. Have you? How, how many is a couple? You're in a How many is a couple? About two. Three. Two, three. What time? Eight ago. Right. A couple is two, a few is three. Right, I'm going to go to the store. The driver thinks that he's fine to drive. Is there a unit can come with a breathalyzer, please? I don't have one in my car. Jen's not so sure. Are you waiting for a lift home? I've got it, but I appreciate you back anyway. Well, do, do you think he'll pass a breathalyzer, yeah. do you? Yeah. Well, you don't need to walk then, do you? Yeah. He'll carry on driving in a minute, won't you, yeah. he passes it? You don't look like he'll pass it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Why? I don't know, your eyes are a bit bloodshot. I've been tired. OK, it's fair enough. I'll give you a benefit of the doubt and the breathalyzer machine will tell me that, won't it? Jen's suspicions aren't helped by the driver's novelty dashboard ornaments. It doesn't look good that you've got, like, cans of lager yeah. on the, on the dash. Fine, I know, but it doesn't look great, does it? And you smell no. of alcohol. So I'm I, hoping... I've, I've had a couple of pine. You, you reckon you'll pass? Yeah. yeah. You've been in trouble with police before? A few times. What for? I've, I've been done for drink driving before. Right. Oh yeah, you a repeat offender, huh? You don't even care at this point. Cans of beer on a dash is crazy. Well, I got done for all the things, you know. I've Can been... I go there? If, if you don't think he's going to pass, yeah. What do you mean? I think he is. So. Wait. The passenger says that the driver will pass the breath test. No. Right. All right. Of it. Yeah. His actions say he won't. In the past four years, UK police have reported a staggering... They would never do that in America. See, these are the subtle distant differences. The subtle differences. Like, if you get pulled over, everybody in the car is pulled over. You're not letting nobody go. They're not letting nobody go. Not without a search. ...bring 5,000 drivers with multiple drink-driving offences. What did you get? Disqualification or...? You're 18 months. And that wasn't the only time this fella's been caught drink driving. I got done, I had about 10 bottles or something like that. And I still passed it. 10 bottles? 10 wow. bottles, I learned a couple of points. And I still passed it. I might not pass it now, because I'm a bit tired. 10 bottles and two pints. Most people would struggle to see after that lot, yet alone drive. Were you dreaming when that happened? Did no, you wake up with no, facing no, no. cornflakes? I, 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 I didn't really fail it, but because I was like a nice person, he says, you don't have to prosecute till the, like you blow over 40. That's not true, because the limit's 35. Yeah, I know. It's time to put his story to the test. Yeah, stand by. The cavalry have arrived with the machine. Just going to test him now. The Sarge has arrived with the portable breathalyzer. You know he drunk. He trying to breathalyze himself. He trying to grab the machine and do it himself. All type of stuff. Nice. Long as you can. I know. Don't I know. go. I've already done it. I've done it before. Right. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Not stupid. How many? Have? I never suggest. He's only had two. He's been. T you seem stupid. You seem stupid. I ain't even gonna lie to you, sir. I don't want to call you stupid, but you seem it. Since you brought it up, you seem a little bit stupid to me. Well said, I've done it before. <laughs> you talking too much. Tested before when he's had 10 pints and he passed, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bad. I, I've been a dickhead. The legal limit you're allowed to blow is 35. That's bad. 80? That is bad. It is bad. Okay. It's go on then, let's go. Blowing well over twice the limit, the couple of pints he claims to have had must have been rocket fuel. Silly mistake, really. Eight is quite high, and he might be on his way up, which I probably think he probably is. And, but he might be on his way down, but either way he's going to fail it back at the nick. Yeah. He's driving quite quickly, and he had passengers, neither of which had seatbelts on. And In obviously the they've got two full cans... I don't know whether he's got anything his side. There you go. That's pretty much what we're contending with. What kind of beer is that? I wonder if they sell that in America. I might try it on YouTube or TikTok. Back at the Nick. 
The driver now has to blow into the evidential breathalyzer. He's definitely going up. All right, stand up. Um, hold it there. Yeah, turn it down. Hold it down. Big breath in. Stand up. Keep going. 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 Keep
Phil's drawn the short straw. The male suspect has legged it down a dark alley. Stay here, stay here. Yeah, it's really right. I've got the female. For some reason, every time I see like cobblestone, like you see this wall right here. Every time I see this, I want to watch Harry Potter. I don't know why. I'm probably going to watch Harry Potter when I'm done with this. Check it out! Yeah, it's really late. I've got the female. Phil's around back gardens going for the male. Okay. Right, Not Sunday. Right, fine. Sunday. Okay, you got a screwdriver in your hand. 756, it's got male detained. Great. Phil's no stranger to a foot chase. He grew up on a diet of 80s TV cop shows and joined the force for adventure and adrenaline. What are you playing at? Well, it's moment in time, you underestimate the suspicion of criminal damage. All right, gentlemen, handcuff you. Go to you shouldn't have. No. With another unit on the scene, Phil can investigate why the pair were running away. Just hold on a second, I'm just going to see what they've been doing to this car. She had the screwdriver in her hands. Right. The uh, toolbox and the uh, brush. Brush. Yeah. No worries. Back in a sec. A toolbox and a yard brush is nothing to shout about. But the female suspect is definitely making herself heard. No, we've bed. been a with me for. I'm not being a for you. Shut so up. Don't be a for me. Sit in here. There's people in bed. Who are you to tell me what to do, dickhead? Police officer? Who has placed you under arrest? Seems, you know what I'm saying? Down the road, Phil's checking out the car that the pair were running away from. Yep, yeah, 10 if you let me know uh, where should keep his details if you live nearby, but it's a uh, golf smashed uh, driver's window. Uh, there's some tools inside, and when these two have been detained, they've got a toolbox, a uh, brush, and a screwdriver on them. They're definitely cracks of head they're definitely drug addicts still in toolboxes like they are bob the builder is crazy that's a that's a that's a that's a nitty behavior it looks like the owners left his tools on display catnip to the opportunist thief just to reiterate all right although we're so criminal yeah she looks like she ain't got no bottom row of teeth she looks like she has no bottom row of teeth <laughs> When your chin poke out, look, hold on, let me see, let me get y'all the catnip to the opportunity. You see the chin velocity? You're this thief. Well, Just to reiterate, all right, although we're so criminal damage, you're under arrest on suspicion of theft from a motor vehicle, namely that uh, 4 by 4 that's parked around the corner. Theft of what? Those items. The suspect is a man of few words. Well, I stole a broom. Unlike his female companion. Don't talk to me. I don't want okay. you to talk to me. Well, that's fine, I but I'll still talk to you. I do not want you to talk to me. Well, that's fine. I'm still no, going go to. Go away then. Go away then. No, you're not in charge of this conversation. You not either. Okay. I don't want to listen. It appears that this isn't the broom thief's first brush with the law. Good to jail. We've said I'm going to jail. Well, you're not necessarily going to yes, jail. Yes, I am. Yet. I've got a warrant. I'm on license. I know I'm going to jail. Well, why don't you give me your details? I can check your details and I can tell you whether you are or you are. I aren't. know I am. Shh, look, there's folks in there. I don't care. I don't give a flying. It's time to head off so the locals can finally get some peace and quiet. Do you want to sit in the back with her? Clarky has the pleasure of sitting next to their sweet talking suspect. Right. You're going to have to budge up, because I'm going to have to sit in the back with Guess you. Guess what? No, I'm not. Listen to me. No, put your feet down. Put your feet down. Oh, yeah. Switch it off, mate. We're not going to on like this. I'll put it in the van. I'm going. Don't even talk to me, dickhead. <laughs> Thankfully, the trip to Mansfield Nick is a short one. So you just think at all. <laughs> <laughs> Dicks, you make 20 things 20 times worse, you do. We're not that bad. You're not that bad, you f dogs. Just because you think you've got a bit of power. When they're ready, the custody sergeant will book them in and then we'll try and find the witness. Who has her chin poke out more than her booty do. 
as a vehicle, just trying to establish what's been taken out of it, if anything else. But I think the majority of the property that we can see has been recovered when we detained them. When Mansfield's answer to Bonnie and Clyde were questioned, the female suspect confessed to the crime, so the male suspect was released without charge. She was convicted of theft from a motor vehicle and, as predicted, received 14 days behind bars. Yeah, she a real one. She took the charge for bro. That's tough. You're all the cute tonight. <laughs> he said it, hasn't he? He said it'd be quiet tomorrow. Well done, Phil. Last year, knife crime in the UK rose by 7%. The Knots Interceptors deploy a specialist team dedicated to fighting this growing threat. And in just three years, they've seized over 380 weapons. Heading out today are Gav Hall and Dan Mottishaw. So our aim is to target offenders with knives. We're out on practice. Are they rookies? They new or something? I ain't never seen them. Oh, they got the hats on. So looking for offenders and trying to disrupt them. So whereas response, you're reacting. We're actually going out and looking for things. We're not sort of governed by the radio. A call for a perfect job for the tryhards. The radio. A call for assistance has just come through. I'm joining you. Yeah, we're just outside the Rita Park pulling in now. Another unit has made a stop and needs backup. Come on, there, mate. In where? Two lads have been pulled in a white 4x4. Four four. He has a big search ship, though. Yeah. Just get the keys. Well, so I'm going to have to throw his bird. You know what I mean? Just pop over here for a second for me. Right. If they come in here, hot yeah. up straight away, been straight out. Yeah. The smell of cannabis coming from the car and a phone ringing and he's emitting this cannabis inside. Oh, okay, Sam. Alright. Best editor on the platform. Let me make sure. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Okay. How far in are we going? Okay. The team sergeant, Steve King, made the stop. I've been driving through Sutton Town Centre. Um, I've seen the car, two youngish lads in it, um, both paying me loads of attention as I've driven past uh, alongside them. So I've spun on it, done some checks. As it's seen me behind it, it's pulled, took the first opportunity it can to pull off the main road. Took a while getting around this car park before pulling into a space and I spoke to the occupants, they said they're nipping into Lidl, which just doesn't, didn't really sound right with the way they'd come around. Um, had a chat with them, there's a smell of cannabis coming from the car and then the driver at that point said, oh yeah, I've got some cannabis in the car. Dan's priority is to see if the driver is carrying a weapon. You got anything on you you shouldn't have at the moment? No. Okay, anything on you that's going to hurt me? No. Nothing that's going to hurt yourself? No. Okay, anything in the car other than a bit of cannabis that you said to my... Colleagues, any weapons or anything like that? No weapons, nothing. Nothing. Right, sound. There might not be weapons in the car, but the search... Y'all, it's not a bit. It's not a little bit. ...has revealed the source of the strong smell. So it's literally full to the rim. Yeah, it's, it's not cannabis. a little bit, you This pair's trip to the supermarket has become a trip to the Nick. A bit trouble, please, before? Just done for uh, possession of cannabis. Right, okay. We're going to have a go seat. I can't hear. Who's got driver? Driver's here. This is his bag here. Something in the driver's man bag has caught this officer's eye. The key from another vehicle, which might be of interest. Maybe you go down to the driver's house and someone parked on the road. Where was that? In his man bag. Is the car yours, mate? No, that car there is a rental car. It's a rental car, is it? Yeah, I already, my car's broken. Oh, is it? I can see him talking. The other key they've got in their hand there, that's my car on. Higher cars are red flags to the interceptors. We're seeing more often that people are using higher cars to commit crime. Um, obviously, when we run a check, it comes back as a higher car, so we can't say at that point who's actually driving it and who's using it. It makes our intelligence checks a little bit more difficult. 
They're taking the driver back to Mansfield Nick. He reckons he's got a legitimate reason for driving the rental car. Took a week off work to the car, bro. Yeah. Just go in the garage and that's where I got rental. Both lads are being checked into custody. The two males have been arrested for possession with intent to supply for cannabis, so that gives us uh, the authority to get those searches authorised. And if once they're all told you, they had it, they had everything individually wrapped. So of course, authorised because a lot of people they're not going to carry all their drugs around with them, or they might have something linking them to drug dealing at their address. So it's important we complete those searches to try and just tie everything in together. Before the team can search someone's home, they need to get special permission from their inspector. We've just locked two up over at Sutter's at Mansfield, just looking to get a couple of the 18s authorised. Yeah, possession with intent to supply of cannabis. The governor has given the thumbs up. Of course. Real, thanks very much for your help, sir. Cheers, bye bye. They knew they was giving a thumbs up, they're already headed to the house. Yes. The driver of the hire car lives with his mum. The souped-up Vauxhall Corsa that he said was in the garage has appeared on her drive. Yeah, I've got the key. Do you want to come grab it? Yeah, grab it, yeah. Time to break the news. He's cooked. I know he's a... He probably don't got the stuff in the mom's crib, but he definitely got it in his souped-up Vauxhall Corsa. This ain't no fetch. Used to mum. Oh, yeah. It's got it's nothing to worry about. Okay, I can't go into too much detail, but then he's been arrested. We have got uh, an inspector's authorization to search the property. Mum was not happy to learn about her son's alleged activities, and she was even less impressed by what was found in his car. I oh, believe it to be quite a large oh, yeah. quantity of cannabis. He got like a pound in there. So we searched the house within his bedroom. We found some. Bags that he used to deal with, which matched cooked. Buddy's cooked. The similar ones that were found in the vehicle, which cannabis was in, uh, and uh, in the boot, there's been quite a large bag of cannabis, what we believe. So all that stuff will be booked into property. Um, one interview, it will be put to him why he's got these items, what they are, and then uh, based on that, it depends what will go from there. Yeah, his best bet is to no comment through that interview right there. So a few actors are reading that bag. Along with a serious ear bashing from his mum, the driver and his passenger have been arrested for possession with intent to supply cannabis. That's nothing, yeah. Shares its border with four. Nottinghamshire shares its border with four neighbouring counties. The strategically placed ANPR cameras let the interceptors know when a suspect car has crossed county lines. That Fiesta's pinged again. Everyone's got it. A camera has just snapped a car that sounds very familiar to interceptors James Carrington and Ian Coleman. 9-8, we're going to head towards the uh, Fiesta as well, if that's uh, where a few of the mobiles are going. Last night, we were looking for a little white Fiesta on a 12 plate that belongs to a female up north, but her other half uh, is a bit of a baddie, and he knocks around in at night committing thefts on the sort of not Derbyshire border, and it's just started to hit the same AMPR kind of cameras where we were before last night. So strong likelihood he's out and about in it again, uh, committing crime and we'll need potting. Intel says the driver is wanted for other offences. James and Ian have already spent one frustrating night playing cat and mouse with the driver. You got it left. Thank you. They don't want to lose him tonight. Just whether we get on him before he disappears out towards Langworth and Shirebrook again. The car they're after is a Ford Fiesta. Good news for James, as he's a fast Ford fanatic. His first car was an Escort, and his dream wheels belong to the legendary RS Cosworth. Never heard of that car. Rob, just uh, running sort of parallel to you through the middle of Mansfield to get to the other end of Ladybrook Lane, so we'll be ahead. Another unit has picked up the Fiesta's tail and is guiding in the other interceptors. 
approaching the third roundabout, at the roundabout, on the roundabout. Near start indication, and it's taken the second, the second lady but late. Awesome, it's coming generally towards us. They're approaching the intercept point. 10 seconds for that junction, Rob. And it should pop out from our left hand side here. The car should appear at any second. Speed is 15, our eco compliance risk is low. It's just done yeah, a uh, well, near side indication. The target is slowing down. Uh, it's come to a natural. I'm just going to carry on past. The driver might make a run for it. Jim, come to me. Briar. There you go. Put it now. Result, the driver was just nipping to the shop. Hey, mate, you all right? You all right? They've got their man. What's your name? Is it Lee? Hey, Ross. Lee Ross. No, Ross. Or have they? They're looking for a Lee, but this chap's called Ross. An H. All right, so is it your car? No, I think we may... Big cat, maybe. Maybe Girl with our male subject. Girlfriend, yeah. Mate, that looks very much like the picture of the other gentleman from oh, last night. Nice, NH, we are with the vehicle. The male driver is out. We're just trying to ID him. Hopefully, the fella's girlfriend can sort this out. Help, hey, love. Is, is this Lee? Oh, she yeah. Ross. Ross. Yeah. Has you got a brother called Lee? Uh, I think so, yeah. Right. Um, we had some intelligence. She messing with both brothers? She for the bros? If somebody was using this car, who was wanted for a theft. We're just trying to find out if it is your fella that's the man we're after or oh, not. Okay. The fact that he's just walked up to us yeah. makes me probably think maybe not. Yeah, but yeah. people have lied to me before. I've been oh, wrong before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's Ross. Ross, yeah. So bear with, what's your name, love? Bear with us. She's saying it's Ross in the motor, which is, I think, brother of the lad that we might be after. So unless he's been a bit furtive with his details, maybe, but... We'll check him out, see if it's our man or so not. So your brother steals your girl's car in the middle of the night and goes on theft on robbery sprees. Realising the game might be up, Ross has had a change of heart and name. So are we, are we, who are we talking to then? So we're talking to Lee. You know we are. What a shock. Well, why did you say Ross then? What? Listen, you know the story, bro. You know the story, don't you? No. So funnily enough, just as we thought, he's lying. What a shock. Now you make your girl look like a... Like a and it is our man, so happy days. This man has given the interceptors the runaround for two nights. Well, you just put your hands out in front of you. So they're not going to take any chances now. Phone out of car, please. Go and give girlfriend good news. To be brutally honest with you, yeah. I don't appreciate being lied to. That's Lee. Lee? He's coughed that it's Lee. And we're locking him up because he's wanted for theft. Lee? Yeah. So he's lied to me? Yeah. Well, either you're lying to me or he is. If you genuinely think this bloke is called Ross, he ain't. He's called Lee. If he's telling you his name is Ross, that's the name of his brother. And he's wanted by us, hence all the activity. Oh my God. So, does he live with you? No. How long have you been going out with him for? Not long. Right, well, maybe you need to think about who you're associating with. I don't know. Well, there you go. But I'll take you on face value. If you didn't know who it was, and you didn't know who it was. W. Just continue to lie. Play dumb. That's how you do it. But ultimately, it is our man. A unit from Derbyshire's road policing team have arrived. Hey, up. Hey, up. Come on. Excuse me. Funnily enough, he tried to tell us it was his brother. They're wise to his antics. I bet you've not tried to give your brother's details, have you? And they know his girlfriend as well. Oh, yeah, they've been together for about three years. Yeah. Just switch off a second. Uh, yeah, she going to jail. <laughs> she should have been pulled off. Apparently you've been together three years, I've just been told. Three years? I've only met her about two months ago. No, OK, well, somebody's lying, not for the here and now. I'm shaking, I can't quite believe what's happening. Lee, jump out, fella. You got she might deserve an Academy Award. Searched. His girlfriend may or may not be surprised to find out that Ross is Lee and Lee is a wanted criminal. Jump back in then. You went to prison, are you? I will be, yeah. What do you want to tell her? 
But for Lee, reality is sinking in. Just tell this, she needs to clear the stuff out of me. Bed sit. Take your out, I'll tell her. Can we get the phone? I'm gonna get it. They're gonna go search your house now, buddy. The suspect formerly known as Ross was charged with theft, driving while disqualified and driving without insurance. The court found him guilty on all counts and he was sent to prison for four months. That was exactly what we're after. Yes. All's well that ends well. Yes. Result. Crime is on the right. Alright, well that was it for that episode. Tell all of a like, comment, subscribe, I'm gone.